If you say, yeah, okay, so this is what your environmental history was, and by the way, you got something completely different. You, you, got, you got these other skills that you didn't know about. That, that's really strange, right? And so then pe what people say is, well, it's emergent. And they say, what's that? What does that mean? And they say, well, besides the fact that you got surprised, right? Emergence is often just means I didn't see it coming. You know, there was something happened. I, I didn't know that was going to happen. So uh, they say, what does it mean that it's emergent? And people say, well, and there are many emergent things like this. For example, the fact that gene regulatory networks can do associative learning. They say, why, 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 why does that happen? And they say, well, it's just a fact that holds in the world. Just a fact that holds. So, so now you have a, you have, yeah, you have an option. You can go one of two ways. It's not like a random grab bag of stuff. There's a space to it, which where these patterns come from. And by studying them systematically, we can get from one to another. We can map out the space. We can, we can find out the relationships between them. We can get an idea of what's in that space. And we're not going to assume that it's just random. We're going to assume there's some kind of structure to it. So I, I, find, I find that much more appealing because it suggests a research program, which we are now undergoing in our lab. The research program is everything that we make, cells, embryos, robots, biobots, language models, simple machines, all of it, they are interfaces. They are inter all physical things are interfaces to these patterns.